Good morning everyone. We are in the Pinner driving test center and I have a candidate with me who has an exam tomorrow. Uh, we are thinking that we are ready for the test. So we decided today a mock test from the green uh, from the Pinner driving test center. So the set name is going to give us a guidance for the test route and we will be marking on his exam how is he doing and we'll be discussing his fault um, at the end of the for, for the mock test. If I do feel anything serious or dangerous, then I might be intervened with my dual control or my verbal instructions. Other than that, you'll be following the set nerves guideline throughout your <coughs> mock test exam. But in the test, it is only for 20 to 25 minutes. After that, the examiner also gonna give you the instructions. But today, just purely have a understanding of the set nerve guidance and understanding of the route. We'll be doing with the set nerve only. Okay, so we're not allowed to go inside the test center. That's why we started from here. So we're going to start from our test from here, and we will be following this road. And the set now is going to give you the guidance. So you turn left from here, and then I'll start this set now. Good luck. <coughs> So at the end of this road we are turning right it looks like straight ahead road but we're turning right Arrive at your destination at 7.17 a.m. Road, turn right, B472, Joel Street. Turn right. So, what you just did is not recorded in this video, but you have given a hand and a head signal to that pedestrian, which we're not allowed to do that. So, you fail the test there, sir. Okay? You're not allowed to let them, like, you can't give them a signal. Okay, it's in your theory that don't wave at the people that you go, I'm waiting, something like that. It's fail of the test. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A404, then a road, then turn left. If you want to give him a sig some kind of a signal, that means you just stop, okay? If you stop there, go they right will on understand the roundabout that you're giving them and take the fourth exit, then... Turn left.
on the left side <clears throat> somewhere safe please after 200 yards turn left Allendale Drive then take the second right turn left then take the second right Drive on when you're ready. yards, turn right, Lindhurst Avenue. Turn right. So if you can pull up on the left side, somewhere safe, don't worry about the driveway blocking for this occasion, just pull up nicely somewhere. Drive on when you're ready. If you pull, if you can pull up on the left hand side in front of that white car which is on your left. Don't worry At the about end the of the road, blocking. turn right, Pillar Hill Road. Keep go close to that vehicle. Leave a car space between you and the car. That should be fine. Thank you. You may drive on when you're ready. yards, turn left, A404, Duxbridge Road. Turn left.
to 300 yards, go right on the roundabout, and take the second exit, A404, St. Thomas's Drive. on the roundabout and take the second exit.
After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Marsh Road, then keep right. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, then keep right. After 100 yards, keep right, then take the second left. Keep right, then take the second left. After 200 yards, turn left, Chapel Lane, then turn left. Turn left, then turn left. Turn left. So it's going in the car park to do the car parking. Let's go inside. So choose any parking from your right or left and do the reverse parking first. After 80 yards, make a U-turn, then at the end of the road, turn left. Excuse me. Yeah, thank you. Drive out from this car park. <clears throat> but in the test, they only ask you to do one parking, right? But today, we're going to do the second one as well, the forward parking, because I just wanted to check. That's why. Okay, so get it out and do the forward parking in any of the choice of the bay. <clears throat>
make a U-turn, then, at the end of the road, turn left. Well done, let's go drive one when you're ready. <coughs> stop line turn left bridge street then go right on the roundabout and take the second exit love lane Exit, then bear left. Bear left, love lane.
the end of the road, turn left, A404, Duxbridge Road. After 300 yards, go right First on the roundabout and take the second one, exit, left. A404, Plinna Green. Uh, we'll switch off this set now for now. So there are two mini roundabouts. The first one straight, the second one turn left. The first one straight, second exit. The second one turn left, first exit. So this is the, well, technically end of your test here. Usually they take you inside the car park of the test center where you started from, but because they la now the test center will be open and we want to disturb, we don't want to disturb any live tests. So that's why we're ending up our test here. So you can now switch off the engine for a minute. We'll let me finish my report. I'll let you know. Uh, 
Okay, so how was the driving in your own words, in your own opinion? Did you think you made it or no mistake you think you were made by yourself? You know, so close to it. You like it? Big mistake, I did. Yeah, yeah. Bad thing, man. Bad thing, man. Anything else? No. No. The rest of the driving you think is fine. So in my opinion, sorry, in your opinion, what was your mistake in your parking? Two like For reverse parking. No, look at that. For perfect statement, man, like that. Tell you, man. Yeah. It's okay. So if your car does not come into your parking bay in one go, you don't fail the test. Okay? So if you think that you will fail the test because you can't finish in one go, it's wrong understanding. Okay, it's okay. If you not if you not get it in front of the time, it's fine. You don't fail the test. You are allowed to give a couple of chances to correct your maneuver, which you did. Okay, you went a bit ahead and far, come back again, and then you fix your maneuver. That's fine. So it's fine. It's just one minor mistake on your control. That's all. But I don't see any mistake in your parking as well. Okay. Now, let's say if I. If I'm a, a lenient examiner and I wanted to um, see your driving as a realistic one and and, and ignore a few mistakes, uh, which is not in material, um, it was a, ma a major mistake, then I'm pleased to say that you have passed today. Okay? However, if I really wanted to make you, you know, like aware of the situation, what you have done, and make understanding of what you what your actually procedure of the driving whatever so you have some serious mistakes i mean it's not in a way it's a serious because there was nobody there but m my concern is what if somebody is there okay so let's talk about that okay so i have marked your mistakes in the event of they have occurred so i have texted you this on your whatsapp now, if you watch this video, rewinding back into this timeline, then you will see these mistakes happening. Okay? So, the very first mistake is happened roughly about at 5 minutes when the video is happening. So, it's where, it's about the roundabout. Okay? So, we started from here. We went to the big roundabout. That two lorries were coming. Yeah? The big roundabout. Turn right. Fourth exit. Now, you started your roundabout from very nicely from the right lane very good speed 10 15 10 15 now when your exit is came you signal left so when you signal left which mirror do you think you have checked left did you check the left mirror really yeah it's no, you didn't. Coming. yeah but yeah. you you didn't check the left mirror when you was taking the exit you checked it earlier and now when you're changing lane, those two cars are coming, but they're quite far, not, not far in a sense that they were just not like in, in the angle, okay? But you saw them, they're coming. But when you're now changing lane towards the left, you're looking in this mirror, center. Now you tell me what help you're going to get by looking in the center mirror when you're changing lane. Do you think you're going to get any help about that? Anything on your left hand side or right hand side, when you're changing lane, the center mirror does not have any clue that is that car there or not. Well, in fact, the center mirror will say, oh, there's nobody there, let's go. But then there's a car waiting here, possibly. But as I said, there wasn't any car that time, but you didn't look an appropriate mirror as well. So I'll give you mine a mistake for now, because there was no car there. And you did check it earlier, but it's not the way of doing it. You need to, when you're changing lane, 
look at the direction of the side whichever you are going and the mirror of that side as well because that mirror will give you some sort of idea that who is there or not does that make sense so that was one technically minor mistake but in my opinion if i really a bit you know old school kind of a boy and i would have said no why is he not checking that mirror i'm not gonna make it so i can make you feel for that okay because you're not you're not checking an appropriate mirror where you're supposed to check the second mistake was happened at seven minute and 25 seconds now um oh yeah so this is where so you you finish that roundabout then you you went ahead and i said pull up on the left side somewhere safe please so you pull the pull up on the left hand side okay so when you pull up you were not you was nice and straight absolutely perfect but then just before you stop you turn the wheel on the right and the car was like mm. so you will realize in the, in the video when you see that that you were absolutely nice and straight and then the last second you did this okay all right it's okay it wasn't significantly out otherwise there was a one car was overtaking us will be a definitely definitely a problem okay so a if it's significantly out it's a problem b if it's out and the car is going it's definitely a serious fall i would have to grab the steering wheel and say like no 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 you can't do that okay but it wasn't too much out but i i might i wanted to say if it's straight you realize it's straight then that's no other answer than that if you realize this is straight then it is straight okay but if you think it's not straight by looking in the mirror the car the curb and the car is not aligned not parallel together then it's not straight now 18 minutes and 05 uh, second positioning for reverse parking so that's where i would say as in as in like a problem as in if it's a problem but you choose the left hand side okay so there are a couple of things first of all so the car park he took you it was a one way system so in a one way system you can be on either side to be to get your car parked because there is no there is no oncoming traffic so you decided to park on the left which is absolutely fine and that's for the reason you kept your position all the way to the right hand side now again remember this is one way system that's why you will be okay on the opposite side of the road otherwise even if you decided to park on the left which is fine but you need to start from the center and then you finish it okay you can't be going other side of the way so you just got lucky there because if you it's a one-way system do you know it was a one-way system yeah. oh, then it's fine if it's not a one-way system you're not supposed to go there so what we tell student that try and park it on the right hand side if it is if you if you're okay and if you're comfortable with if not left is still okay but then think about your position if it is two way okay you shouldn't be on the other side of the road that much you can be go a bit, just a bit of about a, about a one or two foot on the right side but not the absolutely other side of the road but that one is okay because it's one way at 28 minutes and 10 seconds <clears throat> So we finished that parking, we came out and then we were going that, through that road on uh, Uxbridge Road, I think, where you turn left. And then there was a bit of a downhill. So you're, you're, you're speeding up, isn't it? And I just did something, yeah, just to make you realize, just to give a bit of a hint. So I just did something and then you said, oh, I'm 35. So as soon as you spotted 35, you slammed on the brake to get it down did you check the car behind that was a car behind now again you just got lucky there that car was not right behind you otherwise you went from 35 to straight to 25 10 mile reduction straight away now imagine that 10 mile reduction how it will affect the car behind you so sometime all, always students get wrong understanding that if I exceed the speed limit, I'm straight away fail. No, you're not. You're not straight away fail, my friend. Okay, you are not straight away fail. If you continue with that 35, 32, 31, well, above the speed limit, continuously, let's say, 3, 4, 5 minutes, 
and if you haven't done anything about that then yes you are failed so if you just exceeded a limit you realize it just ease off you're not doing 50 60 okay you're doing just 35 so just ease off and get it back down to 30 rather than slamming on the brake in fact if you do want to brake at any point have a look in the back because everybody behind you they they are just following you and well technically they are also doing uh, 35 as well because you're doing it there's no camera there people know that uh, sometimes so they do increase the speed limit like that so what you need to understand that if you slam on the brake someone's behind you they have to do the same and that would be called well catastrophic accident waiting for it to happen because people would like to sometimes follow you very very closely as well so we don't want to do that okay so think about that again so before you break always check in the back that how much break or is it okay if, if I just leave those gas and settle down hmm? and then um, this is something really bothers me uh, so many times today so I have to mark you down here so at 30 minutes and 28 seconds just here um, before you making this entry here so that two right turns okay so have a look at the right turn which you did 30 minutes and 28 seconds and the one which is at 31 minute which is just right here so the last one which you did was quite controlled the way you did it but the one which you did earlier although there is no vehicle ahead but you, you, you went on the other side and you make the turn that's not how we do it the right turn my friend you turn right from your side of the road and make the right turn like a 90 degree angle on the right if there is any parked vehicle on the left you come a little bit in the center and then make the turn but you when there's nothing on your left you should not going on the other side of the road okay but you just got lucky as I said there's no one up there so well technically it's minor mistake but if you keep doing it continuously for two or three times well more than three times you'll be failing the test so you just got lucky today for your test. That's what I can say. But that's not how you're supposed to keep driving. Okay, it's not good way of doing it. Do you understand this? Yeah. Okay, so I'm sure you have um, understood. And if this is a route tomorrow, then I don't want you to, I mean, we don't want to make this type of mistakes yes. to be happen tomorrow. Okay, I'll shortly upload this video today. So you can have a look into your own driving. Just keep looking as well. So you will understand what mistakes you have done. All right. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you've got any question, do let us know. And we'll try and solve this problem for you if we can have time. Thank you very much. Have a good day.